What's up guys, welcome to the video. Today we're talking multi-angle video. I'm gonna share a few tips on how to get set up to shoot multiple angles, and then we're gonna take all those files, bring them back into DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you how to create a multi-cam clip, and then how to edit with that multi-cam clip. But hey, if you're new here, my name's Jay Yudlowski, and on my channel we talk a lot about DaVinci Resolve, photography, Photoshop, Lightroom. So if you're into any of those, consider subscribing to my channel. All right, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so getting right into it. I've got three camera angles going here. I've got the 5D Mark IV, and it's my head-on shot, my main shot. I've got my Canon 60D over here with my secondary angle, and I've got my GoPro up there with my third angle. So we're gonna use these clips here to create that multi-cam clip and use in our timeline. So one of the things you wanna keep in mind when you're getting started with multiple cameras here is that you wanna have all your cameras at the same frame rate. For example, I've got all three of my cameras, the 5D Mark IV, the 60D, and the GoPro, all set to 24 frames per second. And they're all shooting in 1080 video. This way my clips will line up nice and everything should fall into place once we get into DaVinci Resolve. So there's a few different ways that you can sync your footage once you get into DaVinci Resolve. One of those ways is to use a time code. So if you have the ability to add a time code to each one of your angles, then by all means do that. That's gonna be a great way to line up your footage. The second way that you can sync up your videos in the way that I usually use is to sync it with audio. Now in the past that did not work very well in DaVinci Resolve, but I found as they've refined it, I find that it works pretty good now. So we'll see how all this footage works once we get into syncing them up. But if you're gonna use audio, make sure that all of your cameras are recording audio. So I have my main audio here on my 5D Mark IV using a lav mic. On my 60D, I just boosted the audio levels for the internal microphone to make sure it's picking up my voice. And same with the GoPro up here, it's just picking up my voice and that's gonna help us sync everything up in post. I do like to do a little clap. If you had a clapboard, you can use that. Or I just clap my hands a few times to give myself a good spike in audio to make sure things are lined up. All right, so now that we talked about those two ways to get our footage synced up, the other ways we can do once we get into DaVinci Resolve. So we're gonna take this footage here, camera one, camera two, and camera three bring it into DaVinci Resolve, and I'm gonna show you how to create your multicam clip and how to edit with it in DaVinci Resolve. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and round up all your clips from your different cameras and your different angles and bring them into DaVinci Resolve. So I've already gone ahead and brought the files that I wanna use into my media pool. So sometimes when I'm working with multicam clips, I like to create a new bin and just put all those files in one bin just so it's organized and everything is in one place. So I'm gonna go ahead and come under master and create a new bin and I'm gonna call it multicam clip. Then I'm gonna drag all those files that I just brought in and put them into that bin. Now there's a few ways that we can put together our multicam clip here with our multiple angles. The first way we're gonna talk about here is in the cut tab. So let's jump over into the cut tab. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm gonna start by using the method of audio syncing. Now in the past, this didn't work very well in DaVinci Resolve, but I found that it does work better with the more recent versions of DaVinci Resolve. So let's get to syncing up our clips. So I've got all my clips here in this bin. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click to get in my bin. I've got my Canon 5D Mark IV angle, I've got my GoPro angle, and then I have my Canon 60D angle. So super easy, come up here and click on this little icon here that says Sync Clips. So this is the Sync Clips window. Let's just go over what's happening here just to get you a little familiar with it. So on the left here we have Sync View. This is basically all of your different clips. On the right hand side here is whatever clip you have selected here, that's what's gonna show up on this side. Moving down, we have sync by. So how do you wanna sync up your clips? The first option here is by time code. So you would have had to set that in your cameras somehow when you were filming your video. You have audio, which is what I'm gonna to use to give it a first shot here and see how well it works. The next method is to use in points. And basically you would watch your clips, you would set an in point. And then once you got into this sync window, you can use an in point to sync them all up. So that works really well as does the out point if you have a common out point for all of your clips. 
So like I mentioned, I'm gonna try the audio one first and just see how it works out here. So moving down to the bottom section here, you've got your different tracks and then you have your different sets of clips. So DaVinci Resolve knows, okay, this is one camera, this is another camera, and this is a third camera. So you can see it's broken up. There's two clips here, and that's just because the camera couldn't record long enough without breaking the clips up. So that's why we're seeing two different clips for the GoPro angle here and two different clips for the 60D angle here. So the next thing I wanna do is make sure I've got my audio selected here, because that's how I'm gonna do it first, and then come and click Sync. Then DaVinci Resolve is gonna analyze it and sync it up the best that it can. So now that it's gone ahead and synced everything, it looks like it's put all the videos together where it thinks they belong. So if we go ahead and just play a little bit of it, let's just jump in the middle here. Uh, let's play and see what happens. All right, here we go. So, so if I look in these angles up here, they're small, but it kind of looks like they're synced up. So I think this looks pretty good to start with. Now you do notice that the different clips from the same camera are in separate tracks, but we can fix that in a little bit. And I'm just gonna play another second here. Looks like I had a, a clap right here. I just wanna see if I got that clap in there. Let's see how that lines up. I'm like me. So I think this is good enough to get going with the clip. And like I said, syncing with the audio in this version of Resolve is much better than it was in say the previous video that I had made a while back about creating multicam clips. So once it looks good, come on over and click Save Sync. So now if we come back into our media pool, we'll see we've got all our clips and they have this little icon in the top left-hand corner. And that means that they're synced up. So where is my multicam clip? How do I use these guys? So for me, now that I've got everything synced up, I would usually jump over into the Edit tab. I just find that it's easier to edit the multicam clips over there. For me, it makes more sense and I just think it's easier to work with. So we'll get to that in a little bit here. But first, I'm gonna show you how you can edit your multicam clip here in the Cut tab. So to get started, let me click on my clip here and I'm just going to uh, grab about that much and I'm gonna say, append, which means just dump it into the timeline. So I'm gonna scrub through here, find a spot where I wanna add in a different angle. So I can see I'm looking a different way. So I'm gonna to come to this point right here where I start to look another direction. So how do I edit in another angle here? So come up to your sync bin up here, click that. And what's cool about this is that between the sync bin and your timeline, where the playhead is in my timeline is exactly the same spot as it appears in the sync bin. So that's pretty cool. It keeps everything synced together. So let's say I want to change the angle and I know I'm going to be looking at this angle here. So if I go ahead and select this angle, it's going to pop up this window here, which shows me that particular clip. And you'll see it's got a playhead here. Now this playhead matches up exactly with this point in my timeline which is the same as this point in my sync bin. So everything's matched up perfectly. So the playhead is the in point. The out point is set at the default, which I think is about five seconds or so, but you can grab that and adjust it as much as you'd like. So let's say I wanna to change to this angle. How do I add this into my timeline? You can just come over to this little icon right here. It says place on top, click it, and it should place it right on top for you. So let's back up and watch that and see how it fit in. So let's back up. A quick tip here is that I know that this track right here has the main audio that I wanna use. So I don't wanna hear the audio in the new track I just put in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that volume off or mute the track. Then I'm also gonna come up here and click this little icon which says timeline. And that makes sure that the viewer here shows exactly what I have in the timeline. So let's play this and see how the cut worked out set up so that you can record in multi-video and then we're going to take all those files jump into DaVinci Resolve so that's pretty good now I did look back the other way a little bit early oh, so if I scroll back here I can adjust this top clip and just slide it back and when I play it through we're going to take all those files jump into DaVinci it looks pretty good so let's say I got over here and, I'm and I wanted to go with the wide angle so I'm going to open my sync bin back up I'm gonna click on the wide angle. And again, the playhead right here matches the sync bin, which matches my clip right here. It's pretty smart. It's cool that DaVinci Resolve can line everything up and keep it all synced together like that. So again, I'm just gonna leave it at the default clip here. And I'm gonna click the same icon over here, place on top. And it's gonna drop it in there for me. Now, if we play through, let's see how our cuts go together here. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna come up here, 
change this back to the timeline view. And let's play the clip. Take all those files, jump into DaVinci Resolve, and I'm gonna show you how to create your multicam clip. And let's shorten this clip up to bring it back to my main angle. Create your multicam clip. And there we go. So that's how you can put your video together here. Like I mentioned, I think this way would take a little bit longer than the way I'm gonna show you in the edit tab, but you do have the option to do it in the cut tab. And it does have some cool features for you to get your multicam clip edited here in the cut tab. So what I like to do once I've synced up my files here in the cut tab, because I think it works pretty well here, is to jump over into the edit tab to continue with my editing. So I'm just gonna jump back to my media pool and I'm gonna delete this clip out of my timeline. So let's jump over into the edit tab. So now that I'm in the edit tab, I've got my media pool open and you'll notice you do have your multicam clip right here. So the difference between the cut tab and the edit tab where we are now is really just a way of looking at things and a little bit different way of working with them. So I prefer to use the edit tab here just because I'm more familiar with it and for me it's quicker and I just like it better. So now I just wanted to show you that you can actually sync up all of your footage and your audio right here in the edit tab as well. I do like to do it in the cut tab because I think it works well and it's quick and it's easy. But when it comes to editing your multicam clips, for me, it's just way easier to do it right here in the edit tab. But let's say you just wanted to come to the edit tab and sync up your clips right here. So how do I create a multicam clip in the edit tab here? Well, it's super easy. You just go ahead and select the clips that you want to use in the multicam clip. You can right click and you can just come to right here. It says create new multicam clip using the selected clips. Then you'll get this new multicam clip window to pop up. So it gives you the start time code. You can name your clip whatever you want. We're gonna call it Multicam 2. The frame rate is 24 frames per second. The sync angle, how do you want it to sync up? And these are the same options that we had in the cut tab, just in a different way to view it. So you have your in points, you could do out points, you could do time code, sound or marker. So I'm gonna do sound. For angle name, I just leave it sequential, but you do have other options of how to name it. I'm gonna detect clips from the same camera, and I'm gonna detect using the camera metadata. Now when it creates the clip, you also have the option to move all of the source clips into an original clips bin. So I'm gonna say, sure, okay, let's do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create. It's gonna analyze the content and sync up all your clips. So now we have our multicam clip two right here, and all of our original files are in the original clips bin. Before we even start editing the multicam clip here, I do wanna make some adjustments, like change the track names here so it's easier for me to know which one is what. So how do I do that? So if I come to my multicam clip and I right click on it, I can open in timeline. So I'm gonna open that up and now I can see all my tracks here in the timeline. Now we notice that they're all locked, so I'm gonna go ahead and just unlock all of them so that we can work with them a little bit. Looks like I accidentally have some in points and out points here, so I'm gonna clear those. And now I can start working with these clips a little bit. So I'm gonna close my media pool. I actually wanna change my view here so that I can see the track names because I wanna rename them. So if I come here, I know that this track is the 5D Mark IV. So I'm gonna rename it 5D Mark IV. I know this is the GoPro. And I know that this track right here is my 60D. And you'll notice that my audio tracks change name with the video tracks because they're linked together. The other thing I wanna do while I'm in the multicam clip here is just kinda of consolidate some of those files that got broken up because the camera couldn't record that long. So I'm gonna come here and click on my GoPro file, for example, and just drag it down so it's in the same track as the rest of the GoPro footage. And I know my Canon 60D also did that. So there's one file right there. And here's the break between the two of those. Now I did miss a little bit of video there, so I'm just gonna put my playhead right where the clip is so it snaps to it and I'm gonna drag it down. Now I noticed that I have some empty tracks here that I don't need, so I'm gonna just come over anywhere on the side here where the tracks are. I'm gonna right click and come down to delete empty tracks. And that's gonna consolidate everything and make it nice and neat for us. So now I'm ready to jump back into my normal timeline and start editing. So I'm gonna click on my view options, Come over here to the stack timelines. So you can see I'm in my multicam clip. So I'm just gonna click the little down arrow here and go back to my normal timeline. I'm gonna go ahead and open my media pool back up. And now I'm ready to bring my multicam clip down into my timeline. So just drag it down in there. The next thing we wanna do is look at this window right here. 
So click on this little drop down menu here and you want to come down to multicam. And that ensures that we're looking at all of the camera angles that we have here. So I'm going to close my media pool to make a little more space here. So before I get started editing this footage, I want to make sure I've got my main angle set. And for me, this is my main angle right here. In order to set it before I start making any cuts or any changes to the footage here, I'm going to come to the video track. I'm going to right click and go multicam clip angle. And I'm going to change that to 5D Mark IV. And the same down here for the audio. I'm going to right click come to switch camera angle and come to the 5D Mark IV because that's where I recorded with my lav mic and that's the audio I wanna use for the entire track. So over here on the right hand side, you see what is actually showing from my timeline. So if I play it a little, put my phone down here. All right. You can see right here is my main angle, but you can see my other angles are playing along with it. So let's jump ahead a little here. Multi cam video. So you can see here on the left, my videos are synced up, it looks good. So now how do I start editing this? So before we get started with that too, another thing to keep in mind is you wanna take a look at these three icons right here. So what these mean is when I click on one of these videos up here, what will it show in the timeline? Will it show just the video? Will it show the video and the audio? Or will it just insert the audio? So for me, I know that I have my audio on one track from one camera, and that's the audio I want consistent through the whole video. So I wanna come down and select the video only option. So whenever I click on one of these angles to change the view, it's only gonna change the video, it's not gonna change the audio with it. So the first method that you can use to change between your angles is to simply play through your video, watch your multiple angles here, and just click on whatever angle you want as the video plays. So I'm gonna play through here. I know I point to a couple of different cameras. So as I point to the different cameras, I'm gonna watch my screens up here and that's the angle I'm gonna pick. We're talking multi-cam video. So let's jump into the video. A little late on that last one there, but here, now let's play through. So you can see it made my cuts down here and it should have the angle that I selected as we were watching it. So let's just see how that looks. Today we're talking multi-cam video. So let's jump into the video. So that's the first way that you can do it. So I'm gonna undo those. So the next way that you can do it is to play through your clip again, but to use your numbers on your keyboard to select your different angles. Sometimes that's a little easier or quicker just to hit the numbers. So how do I know what number corresponds to what video? Well, back when we renamed our video tracks, I probably should have put a dash one, dash two, dash three after the name so I knew which track. But in this case, I know that this is one, this is two, and this is three. And this fourth track here is nothing. So now I can just use the numbers one, two, and three to change between my clips. So I'm gonna play through the video here in my timeline, and I'm gonna press one, two, and three to change angles. So let's give that a try and see how that works. And real quick, before we play through the track, make sure that your track down here is not selected. So just click off into someplace else in the timeline here. So let's play through the video, and I'm gonna use my number keys one, two, and three to change between the angles. Today we're talking multi cam video. So let's jump into the video. So you can see that worked out pretty good. You just got to know which cameras are which angles and you just press the key as you go through it. That's sometimes quicker than trying to jump back and forth with your mouse. So let's play through that and see how that worked out in our viewer over here. We're talking multi cam video. So let's jump into the video. And there you go. That's how you can easily cut through the different clips. So I'd go through, I'd play the whole video. I would pick the angles that I want. Then I would go back and rewatch the video to make sure everything looks good. But let's say, for example, I had I wanted to change an angle. So let's say I have this clip right here and oops, maybe I picked the wrong angle. I actually wanted it to be the GoPro, for example. So how do I change that? So if you come and you select your clip, you can just right click on it and come to switch multicam angle. And now you can pick whichever angle you want. And this is kind of why I like to label them with which camera it was because I know where they were. And for me, it's just easier than seeing track one, track two, track three. So I'm gonna pick the GoPro and you can see it changed to the GoPro angle here. So now if I play through it. Cam video. So let's jump. It changed the angle for me. So it's super easy to go back and make any kind of edits if you need to. And just like any other footage, you can grab and change the length of the clip if you need to. You just click on it and drag it. And your whole video stays intact. Everything stays synced up. It makes it super easy to go through and edit your multiple angles here. 
One more thing I want to talk about is color grading multicam clips. So you've got a few different options here. One option that you can do is to come to your effects library, come to your effects and put an adjustment clip on top of all of your tracks. Then you can extend that adjustment clip across your whole track. And now I can do my color grading on the adjustment clip and it's gonna be the same for all of the clips. So for example, let's jump into the color tab and let's just say, I wanted to make it look a little more blue. I'm gonna grab my temperature and drag it way down. So just jumping back here. Now, if I play through the clip, talking multi-cam video. So we can see it's all got that blue tint to it. But what if some of my clips need different adjustments than other ones of my clips? So I think an adjustment layer is good to put some overall changes on everything, maybe um, an overlay of a color to make everything look consistent. But there's gonna be times where maybe my, my angles don't match, the cameras look different, I need different treatments. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that adjustment layer. So now if I just jump over into the color tab, you'll see I have different clips. So these are the different multi-cam clips that make up what we were just watching in the edit tab. So if I play through this clip, for example, can, 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 can. it's only showing me, coming back into my timeline, it's only showing me this clip. So I can make adjustments to just that. But let's say as I go through my video, you know, I cut to this angle, whatever, two dozen times. I'm not gonna go through every single clip and adjust the color grade on every single clip. So what we can do is come back to our media pool right click on our multicam clip and open in timeline. And now that it's open in our timeline, now I can come and select the clip. Now, if I jump over into the color tab, I can color grade the entire clip in one shot. So this is my GoPro angle. Let's just say, ah, it's a little bright. So I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. And let's say I wanted to boost up the saturation a little bit. Boost up the color, eh, just a little and saturation boost that up a little bit so now that entire gopro clip is going to have that treatment to it so if we jump back into the edit tab here so now let's play through it and when we get to this gopro angle we should see the color grade that we just created let me close the media pool here make the window a little bit bigger so we should see our gopro color grade right here cam video Okay, and we can see it. So the entire clip is affected. So now anytime I cut to this angle, it's gonna have the color grade that I want. So that's the way that I would color grade my multicam clips. I think it's the best way to do it and it's gonna save you the most amount of time. And if you're like me, when you're working with the multicam clips, there's gonna be times where you run into some issues. So here's some troubleshooting tips for you. One of the problems you might run into is that your clips don't line up when the multicam clip is created. And maybe you tried it a few different ways and it doesn't line up. So how can we fix our clips and line them up within the multicam clip? Now I've got an example here in my timeline. I've got my multi-clip angles up here that we can see. And I'm just gonna play through it and you're gonna see that these don't line up and I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So real quick here, let's play a little. Guys, today we're talking multi-cam. So you can see that these don't line up. This angle here, angle one, is different than angle three and angle four. So how do we fix that? How do we line them back up within the multicam clip? It's pretty easy. You can come to your media pool, find your multicam clip, right click on it and choose open in timeline. I'm just gonna make this a little bigger here so we can see all of our tracks. So I have my three different video tracks as well as my three audio tracks. Now I know they don't line up, so how can I line them up? So what I wanna do is look at the audio waveforms here, and I can see that these two look like they're lined up pretty good, but this one I can tell is off. And I know that my 60D here, this angle, angle one, is the angle that was off. So since we're in the multicam clip, all I have to do is grab this file that's not lined up and find a place where I can match it up. So let's come to right here, looks like a good spot. I'm gonna zoom way in, and I'm gonna just grab that clip that doesn't line up and slide it back to line it up. Now I do have all of the audio turned on for each one of these tracks, so if I play through it, it should sound synced up. So let's try that. 5D Mark IV, 60D, GoPro, 5D Mark IV. Okay, so we can tell it's still off there, so I lined it up by the wrong spot. So I'm gonna do it again, find the right spot, come to some spike in my audio or some waveforms that match. I'm gonna zoom out, looks like they match up pretty good, and let's play through and listen how that sounds. 5D Mark IV, 60D, GoPro. So that seems pretty good and lined up. So now once everything looks good to you, you're gonna go ahead and just close the multicam clip, come back into our regular timeline here. And now if I watch the clips up here, 
they should match up. To get your camera set up so that you can record in. And now it looks like they're lined up and you're good to go. You can start editing with your multicam just like we talked about earlier in the video. So another question that you might have when you're working with your multicam footage here is, what if when I recorded my audio, I recorded it on a separate source, not to one of my direct angles? So for me, I had recorded it right into my 5D Mark IV. So the audio that I wanted for the video was part of that 5D Mark IV clip. But let's say you're recording to an external recorder or something else, and you have just an audio track. So you can go ahead and try and create your multicam clip using all of your video tracks as well as your audio track and it should be able to sync them up using one of the methods we talked about earlier in this video. So let's open a multicam clip and see what that would look like. So again, I'm using my multicam clip two here. I'm gonna open it in the timeline. And when we look at my different tracks here, I've got my three video tracks. I've got my three audio tracks that go along with my video tracks, but I also added in a separate audio track down here. So again, if you have any issues with it syncing up, you can just open your multicam clip in the timeline and make any adjustments like this that you need to. So you might want to label your audio only track um, main audio so that you know which track you want to use in your final video. And let's say maybe DaVinci Resolve couldn't sync up your audio track with your video clips. You can just create your multicam clip with your video clips and then open your multicam clip in the timeline and just add in your audio track and line it up manually. Then once you got your audio track in there, it's lined up. Just go ahead and close your multicam clip. And back here in my timeline, I can right click on the audio, come down to multicam clip angle and come down to main audio. And when we play through our multicam clip, it's gonna use that main audio track that we just labeled in our multicam clip. But let's say you've got more than four angles here. How do I view more than four angles of footage? Super easy, come to this little icon right here and you can do one by one and all these different options up to four by four. So you can have up to 16 different angles that you can edit together here. If you find that your audio is getting messed up, make sure you take a look at these three icons like we talked about earlier and make sure you're bringing in just the video footage, not the audio with it. And again, if you pick the wrong angle to change your angle, select your clip, right click, and come over to switch multicam angle. And then you can change your angle to whatever you'd like. If you find that while you're playing back your footage, it's really slow, it's choppy, your computer can't keep up with it. There's a few settings you might wanna change. I would come up to playback, come down to render cache and click on smart. I'd also wanna to come to playback proxy mode and use either half resolution or quarter resolution. That's gonna just help your machine play through all these clips together because when you're working with multicam clips, it is pretty taxing on your machine. And the more clips you have, the longer your video, just the more it kind of bogs down your machine sometimes. The other option that you have to help speed things up is if I come back to the media pool, go to my original clips, you can select all these guys, right click and come down to generate optimized media. And the optimized media should help DaVinci Resolve run a little smoother. So between those couple different things, that should help speed up your computer a little bit to help you get through editing the multicam clips. But if you have any other problems, any other questions, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll see if I can help you out and uh, give you any more tips. All right, there we go. Multi-angle video here in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, smash that like button. And if you like this video, you want to see more like it, consider subscribing to my channel. So from angle one, angle two, and angle three, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, peace, peace.